Checking out the hoodoos and medicine hat. Looking like some pretty interesting areas to go. But not today, it's 40 freaking degrees. Oh yeah, see this is looking good, honey. Look at the shale, eh? Yeah, off the shale. See, this type of stuff even. Yeah, so this is kinda an area not far from my home that I can get out into with the rigs. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> and it goes all along there too. Looks like a lot of mountain bikers use this. So I will be able to bring out my rigs and oh yeah, look at this here. This is really nice shell here at the Hoodoos. See a look up. This is just outside of Medicine Hat. About 20 minutes, not even 20 minutes, 15 minutes from my house. Came out today with the wife to look for some trailing spots. And I think I might have found one. Uh, so here we got more. We get ourselves up higher into the hoodoo. We got some shale in there. And we got more more areas in here to just wanted to do a quick video of this guys because uh, I haven't had a chance to get out. And uh I figured today, even though it's goddamn 36 or 38 degrees, oh yeah, that looks interesting there, hey, up into the hood. I got I had to find somewhere to go. So I did some Googling and I found this spot. And it looks like they use it, the mountain bikers use it. So I think this might be a good spot. I don't want to make this a long video, I just wanted to share some of the spots. If I come across something that's even better, I'll let you know. See you in a bit. So here's another spot that we just came on to. So this looks pretty good. Get up there a little bit. You can go up onto here. Oh, I got a thistle. I got me a thistle. There we go. Yeah, there's a, I'm wearing flip-flops today. Not the right shoes to do this, but I'll be wearing better shoes. So we got lots of shale here again coming off. Looks like there's a bit of coal mixed in. There was some coal in this area many, many years ago. So these hoodoos are, are uh, probably got some coal in them, I would say. So yeah, like we can get right, uh, right around into here. We have to be careful for rattlers in here too. So I don't want to go too deep. Uh, we do have rattlesnakes here in this area. So I don't have the right shoes on for that. So yeah, just another spot guys. Uh, if I find something else, I'll come back at you. Just on another spot there, just on top of the hill. I'm not walking down into there, but the path you can see that that where those two coolies meet, and she comes down. That might be a very interesting spot to go. I see lots of rock and shale and some rundown from there, so that'll be another good spot. Back at you if I find something else. Okay, another addition here to the uh, location of crawling spot video. I found a creek bed, creek line here that's really deep and it's really, really uh, dry. We have to watch for snakes in here. We're getting into higher grass, but I just wanted to come this way because there's a fence up here that stops us from getting into the coulee up higher. I can see it there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, if you look down here, this is that natural creek bed or it runs down from the runoff. And it goes all the way down over there. You can probably see my domestic niner down there on the on the walkway that's where the creek there's a culvert there and the creek keeps going but yeah so th this could be an interesting spot too you see that hole up there guaranteed snake hide in there and the, the trail just keeps kind of it's like a uh, bmx trail still or a mountain bike trail and i can get right up into here so yeah i just wanted to show you this creek run because i i can pretty much get down in there also as long as i don't come across any snakes when i got the right shoes on it just it just keeps going i'll show you to it from the other end when i get there yeah, yeah so here's the creek bed coming down runoff bed or creek bed big culvert here can probably take the truck right through that culvert come out on this end and then it gets a little tighter when we get down into the the grasslands but yeah another good spot lots of rocks in here too 
good spot. Some more close areas of hoodoos. A little closer up for you guys. Where I can get into and start my day of trailing when I bring back my rigs. And again, not today, too damn hot. Uh, maybe a nice early evening run. Oh, that looks like a good spot in there. So we've got lots of access here. Another creek bed. Looks pretty dried up. We haven't had much rain in the last few days. Yeah, it looks good. Another fence there. You can see the fences. It limits you if how far into the hoodoo you can go. Okay, so we're getting to the top here where the where we should have parked, but we didn't. We've got a little ways of walking to go. But I guess they call this the slow burn trail. And it, it goes all the way. We came from way over there. Uh, where we first started the video was way down there. So yeah, this is a good spot. Hopefully I'll be out here uh, shortly, soon. One of the rigs, RC four wheel drive, axial, whatever ones I choose, maybe even bring a few. Slap one on my back, get her done. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Everybody stay safe.